This video will cover how to replace a serpentine belt on this 5.3 liter Vortex engine in a 2002 Avalanche. To get access to the front of the engine, we need to take out the intake and the upper shroud. We now start taking off the intake, using an 8mm socket on a ratchet unbolt both sides of the intake. Then pull back and lift on the engine side. You can then pull it away from the air filter box and put it aside. We take the plastic engine cover off. To take off the top shroud, start with the two bolts on top. And with a trim tool, you can pry off the four plastic rivets, two on each side. Just lift the center pin and the rivet will come right out. Unclip any hoses and hold them out of the way as you pull the shroud out. We're going to use a C-clamp with a rubber boot that makes contact with the top of the belt and clamps to the water pump pulley preventing it from turning while loosening the fan. We use an adjustable wrench to loosen the fan bolt and then spin the fan off by hand the rest of the way. Also, using a pipe with the adjustable wrench makes it a lot easier. With the clutch fan removed, we took off the C-clamp. Now we can remove the drive belt. Placing a 15mm socket on the belt tensioner, rotate clockwise to loosen the serpentine belt and pop it off one of the pulleys. Then release the tensioner and remove the belt. Then reinstall the serpentine belt following the diagram on your manual or from a picture you took before taking it off. Once it's on all the pulleys, turn the tensioner clockwise and release once the belt is on the pulley. Screw the fan to the water pump pulley and tighten after clamping the belt to the water pump pulley again. Take off the clamp and install the upper shroud by reinstalling the two top bolts in four clips at the bottom shroud. Clip on all the hoses to where they originally were. Reinstall the air intake and tighten both sides. Bolt the plastic cover back on. Rev the engine and listen for any squeaks. And you have now completed the serpentine belt replacement. I hope this video gives you an idea of what's involved doing a job like this. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask on the comments and check the description for links of all the parts and tools we used. You all have a great day.